Hey guys, Elliot Five here with Fights United and Grapple Arts. Uh, here with Chris Regan at Oak Map Bermuda, and I've been training now with Chris over every time I come over the last few years. And part of my A game is something Marcelo Garcia and Gordon Ryan really uh, made famous: the kind of shoulder crunch, inverted armbar, half butterfly sweep. Uh, and that's that's something I've used in competition. It's something I've been using for years. And you know, close guard is one of my favorite positions. And I remember the first time I tried that on Chris, very quickly I, I came to regret it because one of the passes uh, he uses totally shuts that down and I still have yet to figure out how to stop him, but uh, I wanted him to share it with you guys so you can integrate it into your game because that shoulder crunch, uh, double attack, the arm bar and the sweep are, are becoming more and more popular. And so Chris, why don't you take us through uh, the technique breakdown for folks. Okay. So, um, you want to do the demo yeah. right now? Okay. Okay. There's a few ways that, um, uh, that I like to set it up, so we won't worry too much about what we were talking about initially, the shoulder crunch and the, the um, violin armbar attack for now. We'll just get the, like, the basics of the technique. So the basics of the technique are going to be an underhook on this side and what I like to refer to as an anchor here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bury my head onto the chest and I'm going to underhook nice and shallow just so my fingertips are on the, um, are on the front of the delt here. And then I'm going to row my um, elbow back, leaving my forearm on the mat. The next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn this angle here. And this can be kind of risky because as I turn this angle, the risk is that Elliot just follows me with his hips here. Yeah, exactly. So. The two ways I like to do this. Number one, I load myself back into my heel here. So I base up on the far foot and I load myself back into the heel. Then I'm gonna launch my second elbow at the opposite ear. So as I launch my second elbow at the opposite ear and bring my head across the body, I'm gonna flare right foot, left foot, I go here. Boom, elbow lands and I go right foot, left foot and land super high. I can put my knees on the ground. I don't mind putting my knees on the ground or I can sprag up on my toes. Either way, the key here is to keep this um, elbow bent and pulling my chest to Elliot's chest here. If this is loose and I allow him to extend his hip, then we square back up into the guard. So once I anchor in the, uh, on the shoulder, I'm pulling myself to Elliot and I don't let that, that connection break. I'm not going to try and place myself on the top of the hamstring. I'm going to try and place myself right behind the knee, slightly towards the calf. So I load myself back into my heel and I pose my right foot here. I've got to be careful with the underhook here, but I can square him off at this. Then I'm going to launch the elbow to the opposite side, flare right foot, left foot, land nice wide base, and I try and dump his knee up his nose. So currently, Elliot's knee is on the right hand side of his head, opposite to my underhook. I might be able to start to force the feet open at this position, but if I take the ear and stuff the head to the far side and lift the belly and push the, push the knee onto this side of the head, it makes it much more uncomfortable. So I squash position here. I wait for him to try and extend, trying to, trying to send me this way, trying to sweep the pendulum style sweep here. If he opens the pendulum sweep, there's no problem. I can skip the leg over. It's kind of risky for him to do that. He'd probably keep his guard closed and just try and open his hips. But as he tries to open his hips, I can just anchor him in here and keep my base nice and low. So I lift my belly, I push the head underneath, and I dump the knee to the opposite side. As I like to call it, the uncomfortable side. And I dump him back down. Now this becomes academic. I'm going to go to the foot here and start to split the position. I don't push this foot all the way down. I just control, throw the leg high, step over, and sit back to an underhook and head control, half guard where I'm already past the knee shield. Push up on this one. Yes, sir. So first things first, I'm gonna bury my head and underhook the shoulder. Then I'm gonna load back into my heels. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of plant this foot so it's nice and strong. I'm gonna vault forwards here, but I'm not just gonna vault forwards. I'm gonna vault forwards and change my angle so that I'm perpendicular to Elliot, so that I'm lying straight across his head, controlling this leg with my belly. So as I vault forward and drive my elbow to the mat here for balance, I bring my hips with a right leg flat. Right leg, left leg, here, boom. Heavy pressure here, then I lift and stuff the head to the uncomfortable side and drop it back down. Now I control the foot. If the feet are still crossed here, no problem, because it's not very, uh, it's difficult for Elliot to keep that closed. 
So if the feet are still crossed here, I'm just going to pop inside here and split that. Hang to the sole of the foot and just control. I'm not going to try and make the toes touch the mat. It's difficult. It might make you move too much. Then I swing the leg. Bang over the top. And walk my hips back. so uncomfortable <laughs> and it really you know uh, when people try to compress you in your guard opening your hips is generally very effective but once that elbow is over the top and particularly you show it again the, the way your hips or your stomach rides so high to the calf I find just really kills my, the power of my hips. yeah if I stay if I stay on the hamstring then the, the pendulum kind of kick off becomes much more, you might not sweep me, but being able to pendulum me back to this position, oh, yeah, yeah, becomes more uh, realistic. Yeah. If I just send myself a little bit higher than your head, so I'm on, more on the calf, behind the knee, but more on the calf than on the hamstring, that becomes really difficult. Even though I'm further down your lever because you're so much weaker down there. Right? So as I launch here, boom, I flare and I try and, like my right hip is low down, I'm almost on the ankle, uh, sorry, my left hip, is low down, it's almost on the ankle here. Mm -hmm. Now I can stay sprag here, but sometimes I like to really squeeze tight and pinch my knees into the person here. And you can see the guard's already open, so this is easy, that's an easy step over. If the, if the guard opens just from, just from the compression, the guard pops, no problem. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, um, <clears throat> I'm not even gonna mess about, I'm just gonna step straight over. Yeah, I, for me, like, I wanna open my guard just to relieve the pressure, and I'm mm -hmm. relatively flexible. If someone isn't, I can see it totally opening. So this is what, what I like about the way you're showing it is part many of our many close guard players, our A game is to get a, a wizard or an overhook. I want you, I want it. And you're you're using this here. So how mm. would you adjust this if I'm attacking more of an inverted arm bar? Because the position would be different. So you're attacking on this shoulder, sure. this shoulder crunch position here. So rather than throwing the elbow over the top of the head here because earlier it's concentrating on attacking this like what i call a violin armor or yeah. this shoulder crunch position right yeah exactly so i can use the same uh, the same um hip and foot movement but it's harder now for me to retract right because he's kind of controlling me here yeah exactly so it's hard for me to retract my hips because i kind of drag him with me so rather than retracting i'm going to use this arm here and obviously i'm going to make sure that he can't extend me to this position yeah, exactly. So I'm going to kind of come around the back of the head and I'm going to cut the shoulder in exactly the same anchor position. I've got to be super careful that Elliot doesn't dig this elbow inside here, yeah, or even swim it over underneath and bring it across because now my, my game, that, that pass is dead. I'm going to get on as I go past. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to underhook on the, um, uh, on the far side and I'm going to cut the shoulder with my anchor exactly the same. Now instead of flaring, what I can do is I can rise my hips, I can pipe, like Elliot says, pipe my hips up and I kind of block the right hip with my right knee. So I pike and I go like this. And I block the wall here. And now rather than flaring across, I can get that sort of walk around. Now this shoulder crunch position is probably no, it's actually no good keeping hold of it for you. And it's super easy for me to wind this out and I can fight the head back into weak position underneath the knee. So it's, it's, a, it's exactly the same movement. It's a little less, it's a little more, um, it's a little more calculated, a little slower, slower progression because walking this, this right knee, the movement is such that I sort of rise the hips here and then I walk across some block mm. and stop me from following mm. and then I walk and walk and walk. So we end up in the same position, right? But I end up with a head control and an underhook. I'm still going to fight to get my ear across. I, what I don't want, what I don't want is to end up here, mm -hmm. walking my hips across this way mm -hmm. and then trying to reach back for this here because my arm's back in jeopardy again. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come this way, boom, kill everything he's got. Maybe I'll fight the grips that he's got. And here, I can split these hands out pretty readily. Mm -hmm. Push and step, and then retreat a little into the half guard. So, so two things about this, and then we'll show it from this angle one more time. Oh, um, so one, I felt you use this and I guess the first version, without even me attacking anything, you're just shutting down the close guard altogether by giving that, that wizard that overhook, yeah. by you taking that underhook. And yeah. to me, that was, it's, I, I mean, I've, this whole week I found it very difficult to deal with, so I think it's a great, you know, I'm generally apprehensive to give access to the body, but it really has been effective. And the other thing I really like about it is generally, you know, we'll, we'll go for this inverted arm bar and try to get to the side, 
And where the sweep comes in is people will lean forward to try to shut uh, this, this way, to shut that down, which then allows me to get my hips out this way, insert a hook, and then get this sweep. Quiet. And that's how Gordon Ryan Kapu Shesha, I think Marcelo Garcia got Pablo Popovich with it. And I remember the first time trying this on you years ago, I came here and I felt you go forward. I'm like, oh, he's falling into my trap. But that coming forward was not effective because yeah. if you can go through it from the end. So as I'm coming forward, I'm also coming up here, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm stuffing, walking, stuffing, walking. Uh -huh. The quicker I can do that, the better. But that's the, that's the motion. I'm I really like knees around and stuffing the hips. I really like how the knee, not only this knee is pushing the hip in, but even that. Yeah, knee. this one's like the, yeah. the first one, right? Oh, yeah, because really yeah. if I let your hips chase, Mm -hmm. You'll just follow me around like mm -hmm. a dog chasing his tail. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I'll, I'll keep walking that way and you'll keep following me that way, still with, still with this horrible position on my arm and shoulder. Super sick. Let's show one more time. So I got the shoulder crunch here. You take that underhook. Anchor and head control. I raise up into the pike and I start to stuff with the left mm -hmm. knee. Take control with the right. Mm -hmm. Left knee. Right. Oh. Now look, when I can free, boom, I free. Mm -hmm. If I need to force here, then I will. But generally, as I start to shuffle, see how the feet pop? I'm here, close the feet earlier. Yeah. I'm on hamstring. Mm -hmm. As I move towards the calf, oh, and stuff me into the nose, all of a sudden I get to calf. The guard's very hard to keep close, aren't we? What a nightmare. Yeah, it's <laughs> very uncomfortable. <laughs> awesome. So, guys, I um, not only wanted everyone to kind of, who hasn't gotten to oh. kind of see oh. Chris and, and old Matt Bermuda compete, get a bit of an intro but also this technique uh, you know all the techniques I've learned from him have been amazing but this one uh, I thought was really relevant for all of us because so many folks on bottom love the, the wizard the overhook and that shoulder crunch uh, is becoming more and more popular I've been using it for a long time but you've seen it from a lot of folks and, and it just was such a beautiful way to shut it down. So Chris, really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Sure, Gordon Ryan will show you 10 different ways to stop, <laughs> me, from, stop me from doing that. Right, so I'm going to say that too, I'm sure. Yeah, no, for you. sure. Thank you. Plus.